I'm about to show you two photos of some crayfish. One of them is invasive and the other is just a regular pet crayfish. Can you guess which one is which? I'll give you about a second. If you guessed the first one, then you'd be correct. This is the American Signal Crayfish, and it actually has a very long history of being a big pest. Now let's go back to the beginning, when this whole problem started. So a really long time ago, there was a big plague, and a bunch of native European crayfish were dying. And it was because of this disease, and they couldn't trace where the disease was coming from, but it was just killing all the native European crayfish in Europe. So, all the Americans brought the American signal crayfish to replenish the crayfish population. But unfortunately, the actual carrier of the disease was the American signal crayfish. So, by introducing the American signal crayfish, they were actually spreading the disease. And unfortunately, the American signal crayfish also had some immunity towards this disease, so it really didn't affect them that much. These crayfish quickly adapted, and soon they were really hard to control, and even to this day people still try to catch them and try to get rid of them, but they're just too much, and they keep multiplying and adapting to Europe's waterways. These crayfish also eat lots of native animals that they're not meant to eat. People have tried to use many methods to get rid of these crayfish, but unfortunately, none of them are working extra well. So, if you do see these crayfish in Europe, make sure to tell the authorities as quickly as possible and try to deal with the problem. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a like as well.